Nairobi Jamhuri Grounds, National Livestock Breeders Show 2018, African Union IBA, supported Kenya Livestock Breeders Association and other breeders societies, that is, Doba, Red Maasai and Galagot, hands showcasing their animals and products at the show. We want to say thank you very, very much to all those presenters. We appreciate. The three days livestock show was launched by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. And indeed, I feel very encouraged when we see so many distinguished farmers from across our country taking part in this event. And from what we have seen so far, I must say that we are totally impressed by the standards of the exhibits that we have seen, the animals that we have seen, and I think we are moving in the right direction. Indeed, if it is true that the objective of the Livestock Breeders Show and Sale is to showcase superior livestock and livestock products and the most effective farming methods, then I must say that even if we are not quite there yet, we are on the right path. In recognition of the multifaceted and dynamic nature of the livestock industry, I want to once again reiterate that the government is ready to work in partnership with the stakeholders in the livestock industry in order to accelerate development in this industry, to improve incomes, create employment, and spur national economic growth. I conclude by saying that I recognize the role of the Livestock Breeder Society in supporting capacity building for our smallholders, and indeed it is my expectation that in future we will see more smallholder farmers join these breeder societies so that they can participate fully in such events in their own right. And with these few and brief remarks, it is my humble duty to declare the Livestock Breeders Show and Sale 2018 opened. Mungo Wabariki na sana. Exhibitors came across all over the country and the best were awarded trophies. Tunaleta mwombe kutoka pale popoto ya Kenya vile ulisema. Wanaanza kuingia huko na unaona wanaanza na hybrid ya Kenya. Inaitwa Boran. Thank you very much. Ma coffee kwa mwagisha ya farm tena. Thank you. I'm Thomas Mutunga and a member of the DOPA Shibuta Society of Kenya, where I also double up as a national committee member. This society has been there since 2012 with various uh, achieved milestones. Currently, the membership is 20, uh, 75 members, and we anticipate that this number can grow in the next uh, few years. Additionally, this society has had some programs funded by AU Ibar, a Dopashi breeding program, which has also enabled acquisition of the local Dopashi standard of excellence. It has been developed and shared with the stakeholders. Additionally, this through AU Ibar, the society has been able to train Dopashi inspectors and judges for the benefit of the local farming community. Uh, this year, this society is also uh, having exhibitions here at the showground for the Builders uh, Show and we've had a chance to invite an international judge, Mr. Hani from South Africa and Botswana, whereby uh, he will be judging our animals tomorrow. At this time, I want to welcome him so that he can give more details about uh, this uh, show. Thank you. My name is Annie Skutter. I am a DOPA judge and inspector from the DOPA Breeders Society of South Africa. I'm actually based in Botswana, farming sheep, doing what I like. And uh, I've been invited to come and judge the DOPA sheep tomorrow on the show. Very excited to see the quality of the animals. So far, I should say I'm very surprised on the organizing and everything is, it's a well-organized show. 
and I'm very much looking forward on judging tomorrow. Thank you. Majina ni Maiko Yaratudo kutoka Galagot Galagot Conservation and Improvement na aswa mali natoka ni katika wilaya West Pokot na mali tunafanya mali hapa tume expit mambo ya mbusi mbusi nyeupe mbusi ambaye aswa ni ya masiwa na pia nyama na West Pokot Galagot Breeders Association ni moja ile imeform hii hii ambaye tunaita hapa uh, Galagot uh, Galagot Conservation and Improvement na aswa imbus nyeupe jina lingine ambalo tunaitumia kabisa inaitwa Somali goat Somali goat ama Galagot ukitumia sana inapatikana katika nyanda za uh, northeastern na ni ya kukua katika sehemu za semi arid lands uh, wesi peleka katika highlands mali kuna baridi hii sana haitakuwa inafanya kwa upande hiyo jambo lingine ambalo ningependa kutajia mali hapa ni kuwa sisi tume network with other counties Uh, kaunti zingine kama huko Lainameru, Baringo, Laikipia yote tuko katika network moja ndipo ukaiona hiyo jina inaitwa uh, inaitwa Gala Conservation and Improvement at the same time tuko tuna form National Gala Goat Breeders Association kile tunafanya ni kuregister the animals uh, through Kenya uh, uh, Breeders uh, Kenya Livestock Breeders Association ambaye uh, ni Nakuru tunajua headquarters yao ni Nakuru katika Kenya mzima uh, jambo la mwisho ambaye ningependa kuongezeni kwamba uh, tunaifanya kasi ya kuregista kuregista isi mifuko kuregista isi mifuko kila mfuko lazima tunaregista na kila mifuko lazima tunaregista na namba yake na kodi yake na ichulikane kwa kuwa sababu ya ile naitwa genealogy kujua ya kwamba hii mbuzi alizaliwa na nani namba yake ni gani na kutrace itakuwa ni rahisi uh, breeding vile tunavyofanya ni kwamba tunaanza na foundation level ambayo most of farmers size most of the farmers ama group size siko kwa foundation level uh, sile simefika katika intermediate uh, ni chache kidogo lakini they are going well wanaendelea vizuri so mali hapa tume expect mambo ya mbuzi ya galago na siko tayari katika uh, vibanda I think on Saturday ndio tutakuwa katika uh, mashindano mali hapa na hata uh, ata gala goat breeders ndio tujue ya kwamba tuko kiwango gani na tunaelekea ubade gani On the second day of exhibition The scrutinizing of animals began awaiting for the final judgment. Working closely with other Kenyan judges, Heni Scatter helped in looking at the key characteristics that will qualify or disqualify the dobership. In terms of capacity, this one has got a lot of capacity. Yes. All right. It's more doper than the one that we have chased out, yes. but it's not far better the upper right but its meat capacity and its meat quality is making it that we are not coming to the right but it's not on a good one we would have wanted to see a little bit of better head a little bit of a stronger jaw on it a little bit of better definition at the back but this one is not going to work out we should have it if we look at this what do we see here In addition, the Kenyan judges had good experience working closely to Henny Scatter. This is because they were learning best breeding and farming practices both locally and internationally. Without fear, Veva. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, that's a big big We have also learned uh, we, our, our new way of doing it to okay. improve our own mm. our own methods of, yes, of yes, our own yes, ways of yes. judging. I'm very happy because I've learned also a lot mm. and I think next time we shall be doing the process to by process training them uh, in the uh, put the judges immediately on the farm mm. so that we go forward.
Yeah. And you've got a breed here already. Yes. It's already uniform. Yes. It's already here. Yes. If we can go in and we can make the, the meat qualities better, because that's why I always say, yes. if we can get the economical value of the breed yes. better, yes. the people will keep more of these animals. Yes. The animals are already there. They are adapted to your country. Yes. You people know how to work with them. Yes. Everything. So if you can just from strength to strength. Yes. Next year there must be three times or four times four as more times that, that, good quality Maasai rates on this on this show. Yes. Yes. What does the chief guest judge has to say? My name is Annie Skitter. I was a judge for the Dorper sheep and uh, the Maasai red sheep on the Nairobi National Show in 2018. Uh, I'm from the country Botswana. It was a very great experience for me to be here. We actually found uh, the show is well organized. Um, we didn't have any problems. In terms of the sheep and the animals we saw, the animals were very good quality. The criteria we used, we used uh, clearly we used the, the, the breed standard or the South African Dorper breed standard, actually where the sheep breed was developed. Um, if one can say one thing, there's still a lot of old type of Dorper sheep in the country. Um, we are moving towards uh, better economical animals, fertile animals, and uh, we would wish uh, the people if, if, if we, there can be some proper training in the inspectors just to guide the breed into, into better, into terms of better quality animals. Even surprised about the Maasai red sheep, very interesting animal, very hardy animal adapted to the country and uh, we would really like to see more numbers uh, next year uh, in terms of, of numbers and quality improving. Thank you very much. Um, it was a great experience and I want to thank all the organizers um, for the privilege we had uh, to be here. The second lot of animals to be scrutinized are the gala goats paraded. They had to be looked from both back and front compared and then separated in pairs awaiting for the final judgment as well. The chief judge for Gallagher, <laughs> the one in orange and blue cap, gives his verdict on the Gallagher. So that uh, put it so much off. Gallagher has long white legs, an indigenous breed in Africa. It is associated with pastoral communities of northern Kenya and well known for its milk and meat. The red Maasai sheep is a breed with a number of benefits. Fast growth rate and able to withstand longer drought period. She also withstand worms and diseases that be treated before dying unlike other animals. The red Maasai sheep is also able to walk long distance in search of pasture because of their strong legs. They don't need to be fed since they eat in both bush and forest without being monitored. Their meat is sweet and delicious. They give fat use in food, as spices and also as medicine. They also give healthy and nutritious milk. Let's get to hear the views and experience of Kenyan judges on the show. Kwa machina, naitwa Wilson Koskei. Na ni, mimi ni chairman ya Ren Maasai Ship. Nataka ni shukuru eh, wa, eh, wa, wa, wananji wale wa mbao umeudhuria hii show kwa sababu wamepata mafunso mpia ili waporese eh, wanyamasao. Ok, my name is Bernard Kamawira. Uh, I come from Laikipia. Uh, I have been a sheep judge for close to three decades. My experience is that uh, it was quite quite an improvement from the previous shows. Uh, the breeds, we had uh, very, very improved breeds, classic. And uh, quite a number of those who brought the animals have improved their production systems. Uh, previously, we would say that there was a big decline in the sheep industry until the revival of uh, these breeder societies, which have worked hard to, to bring back the, the, the breeding of sheep, both mutton and, and wool sheep. Uh, as for the doppers today, we saw 
very superior breeds and uh, actually I would say the very various classes of farmers who came around, the large scale farmers and the small scale farmers, we were able now to see that the, even our own small scale farmers are, are producing good material and uh, we appreciate that there has been some level of support from well-wishers to actually enable them exhibit at this show. My name is Jeremiah Olesen and I'm a judge in the, uh, this show. I've been a judge, an experienced judge for some years uh, now in this show and I'm also an inspector of Dopa Sheep, uh, uh, Dopa Sheep breed. I'm an, an inspector and also I am holding an office position as a treasurer of Dopa Sheep. Um, if, uh, if I may comment on the show, is that this year's show was very good and well represented. As the DOPA, I can say we have a very, very uh, huge number of uh, uh, exhibitors and uh, exhibits this time. Uh, unlike other shows which have been, and I think this one is uh, because of AU Iban who have gone to a step ahead to sponsoring the Red Master and uh, Dopa Ship. And in the show, we have seen even new farmers coming in, and there have been a lot of competition in the area of uh, Dopas. They were the best quality so far, even for the years I've judged, I've seen the best quality of Dopa Ship in the country. And uh, even imported ones, uh, we've been able to uh, judge imported Dopa. And uh, I miss, a, actually the exercise was very tough for us. We had to uh, do elimination first and leave a few animals because we needed only four animals to compete for prices. It has been a tough for all the classes of the dopers. But uh, we have been led by the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the visiting judge from, from uh, Botswana and uh, it has been fantastic. Uh, the other thing is that it was quite competitive in judging. Given that the quality of the breeds was superior, uh, the number of animals that were exhibited, it was, it was quite a number, it was quite a, a good work. It was quite, uh, you know, I would say we appreciate from the judging point of view because our responsibility is to try and, you know, bring breeds that uh, are you know, help farmers come up with superior breeds, improve their production systems by comparing what others are doing. Uh, kwa church, churches in general, uh, nile shukuru sana. Nile shukuru sana sababu uh, iko mtu, yes, uh, alitoka se mungine, ametufundisha sana, tumepata experience. Na naomba wale ili tuwe tu, 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 tu but experience side tu, tuwe tuki tukiwa charges to to dhurie eh, church men come my because to, to this an exchange eh, idea of ideas there are a lot of areas that uh, even me as a uh, judge i had to learn because there are some aspects especially the aging of the animals you know, we do the aging in looking at the teeth. And uh, so there were times that uh, exhibits which were put in the, some uh, ages, we had to disqualify them because the teeth have come up. So there are areas that I have learned. And I also want to appreciate the farmers. Although they were new uh, in the show, the handling was uh, quite good. Unlike the previous shows, the handling, I think the animals were prepared. So I was pleased as a judge because the exhibits which were presented were presentable. They were show stock, show animals, very high quality. And even handling of the farmers, although it needs improvement uh, for the farmers to be taught on how to handle, uh, but at least it was a bit better than the other previous shows. Well, uh show generally naona ilikuwa msuri kwa na mafunzo eh tumepata tumegain mwingi nimeshukuru sababu 
ametuonyesha mwelekeo advice to farmers is that uh, when we are preparing for the show animals they should select it in time because there are some animals which were disqualified because of the categories you know they have categories so advice to them is that when the shows are near they select in, uh, enough animals which are, they are going to prepare uh, for the shows and it's also advisable to look at the inspector or judges around their area so that they can guide in selection because when you have a big farm you may bring even animals which are uh, which are uh, not superior you leave superior animals and bring the animals which are us so if you have somebody who is uh, more experienced he can lead you on the ways to uh, select your animals also the farmers needs to know that uh, the management aspect of the animal in the farm is what you bring here in the show so if you come to the show unprepared and even your animals can show that the, the level of the management in your farm so farmers uh, uh, you have to feed your animals you have to look them well and seek advice from uh, people who are around because we have um, trained uh, inspectors who can come to the to, to your farms and help you to select show animals because where you when you come to the show you come to the show to advertise your farm you are coming to the show uh, so that it you will be known where you are situated that is an ad, 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 advertisement so as you come to advertise you 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 come you come with the best so don't leave the best the best behind make an opportunity to use those people who are trained in the field madenga nyaga the officer in charge of Marimanti Goat Improvement Center basically deals with the gara goats and gara goats are, as you know they are meat goats indigenous meat goats in our country Kenya so specifically for this uh, breeder show it was fantastic we had across the board all the meat goats in in Kenya and uh, exhibitors were drawn across the country from Meru from Tarakanithi, from West Pokot. I think it was a good uh, exhibition, especially dealing with the meat goats. And uh, for this year, we were very lucky we got another breed, the first time in the history of our country, that is the Karahari Red, that was exhibited by the ODA Ranch in Irumuruti. It added the flavor in our exhibition, and uh, farmers got very much interested in that particular breed because it was new to them. So I think the judging went on very well smoothly. There was very big competition. There were huge entries of animals. So the competition was very, very stiff and uh, that made even the judges to be on their toes. And uh, for meat goat, you see, we are looking for, with, for various characteristics, the body frame, the trueness to the type, as the phenotypic features of the animal based on the breed standard for the specific society of the animals. In this case, the Gara Goat Breeders as Society. And uh, those who won, to me, they won very fairly, given the judgment that was based and the uh, grooming of the animals that are presented to, uh, to the show crowd. So the farmers, I think, they got the, what they really wanted. They were trained, the weak point were raised. So you expect the future coming uh, shows, there will be improvement. And especially the weak point was about the grooming of the animals. It's as if farmers went down in grooming the animals. There were a bit of the cleanliness, the hoof trimming, and even the, the shaving of the, the coat hair. So there are some of the specific points that need to be improved upon. Then even the judgment itself, the, especially the, on the catalogue, I think we as judges, there are some improvements that need to be done and maybe we are going to feature those ones in uh, post-mortem uh, analysis of wet on so that for the future coming shows, we can work better towards the improvement of the animals and for the meat industry in our country. The Dope sheep has white body and black head. It is a fast-growing meat-producing sheep.
produces a fleece of little wool. It was developed in South Africa and second most popular breed in that country. Okay, my name is Leonard Muhebi, Muganda. Uh, I work with the Kenya Livestock Breeders Association, which heads the Kenya Start Book and the, the Daily Recording Service of Kenya. Today I'm very pleased to be in this show, which is a major show for the livestock breeders uh, in the region. As we are exhibiting, we are having uh, quite a number of breed societies that have organized uh, this event. Um, and among them, uh, I'll be particular to the ones that we have worked closely um, in this kind of exhibition, and that is the small stock, including the Dopa, Red Maasai, and the Galagot, which through the support of uh, the AU Iba, we've managed to showcase our animals in this year's show. Um, firstly, I want to thank the AU Iba for this kind of support, because it is now in the history that the Red Maasai Sheep Breeders Association has showcased their animals for the first time in such a national um, livestock breeder show. And um, this event marks a number of um, activities that is a journey that has brought us uh, this far. And I'd like to say that uh, uh, with the support of, of the African Union, we've been able to achieve and accomplish a number of activities for breeders who are new entrants in the breeding industry. Uh, besides the large talk, I would like to say that uh, we have managed to bring the Red Maasai ship on board and now we have that ship being registered at the start book. We are also having the Galagot, which is our indigenous breed, to be exhibiting and also to start registration of animals uh, at the start book. I also want to say that uh, we have carried out a number of activities, including training of farmers through the support of AU Iba. We have also established breed standards for two breeder societies, that is the Galagot and the Red Maasai. And we went ahead to have this breed have a registered um, a society, which is one of the things we are proud that the project has achieved. Um, in the past three years, the AUI bar has been working to support farmers in conservation of the African animal genetic. And we are proud that we've had an impact amongst the farmers that we've worked with them uh, this far. Uh, I'd like also to say that uh, in this year's exhibition, um, we've had farmers who have really made improvement in preparing their animals uh, that have exhibited at uh, this year's show. And um, this is just the starting point. We want them through their societies to organize other events within their areas and within their regions so that this breed can be improved every other time through trainings and through proper um, record keeping and also registering with the start book. Um, this far, I know that we are going to uh, have more farmers coming on board. And through this show, we want the whole nation and the region at large to consider conservation and improvement of our local breeds. We understand that the Red Maasai is a transboundary breed. We also understand that the Galagot is also a transboundary breed. And we um, are honored and we take much pleasure to improve our own um, local genetics. So we want um, the whole region and even those who are yet to understand the value and the meaning of uh, these local breeds to consider uh, venturing into serious breeding and improvement of these local genetics. The objective of the program has been to improve and to conserve the local indigenous breeds. And um, I must say that this journey um, is going to amount to lots of benefits uh, to the farmers whom we, are, we take pride in. 
So, um, in conclusion, I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank, firstly, the farmers who accepted to work with us in this project. And I continue to encourage them to um, focus on the issues of improving their breed and also utilizing the breeds so that this nation can be food secure. I also want to thank um, the exhibitors who agreed to bring their animals to this show. We had farmers from a number of parts in the country and we appreciate their support to ensure that this event has come uh, out successfully. I also want to thank the Kenya Livestock Breeders Association through the Kenya Start Book for offering this support which has ensured that the animals now have entry into the start book. And above all, I want to thank the African Union for taking charge and for sponsoring these activities that has helped farmers showcase their animals. And we know that we are going to experience even improvement in the future exhibitions and for the animals that will be showcased in future shows. So I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody and I'm very proud of this event today uh, noting that um, we have a long journey to make but we still have um, an opportunity to improve and to catch up with what we have lost in the past. I'm the project officer of the genetics project at uh, AU IBA which is the African Union Inter-African Bureau for Animal Resources. As the AU IBA, we are coordinating all animal resources activities on the continent of Africa, representing the African Union. Uh, our responsibility is basically anything regarding animal resources. So we have got various projects which are looking at animal health, animal production, also looking at fisheries, even bees. As you know, Africa is, uh, is, is very rich in diversity in terms of animal genetic resources. We have got some breeds of animals from all species, cattle, sheep, goats, which have really adapted to the environments in Africa and they do very well even when conditions are very harsh. But for example, we have got breeds of sheep which can withstand worms, which can withstand heat, which can withstand very poor nutrition in terms of water and feed. And these are the breeds which we really have to promote because in hard times these breeds are of great service to our communities who depend on these animals. So here at this show, at this livestock breeders show and sale, we as the African Union came here representing the genetics project which is supporting various initiatives throughout Africa including Kenya. We are supporting the DOPA, the ship, uh, uh, here in Kenya, we are supporting the Red Maasai sheep, we are also supporting the Gala goat. Apart from that, we are also supporting the, the Saiwao cattle breed, and we are going to be supporting some chicken, local chicken breeds in the very near future. So basically we are here to support, to ensure that our farming livestock keepers are out there, they, they, they come out to, to represent the breeds, which are very, very important. These are custodians of these breeds, animal genetic resources, which are very important to Africa. So we want to support these farmers to make sure that they succeed and that they conserve and utilize these breeds to the best they can. My name is Dr. Mary Mbole Karioki. I'm the data management expert for the genetics project. And uh, I'm glad to be here in the Livestock Breeders Show. This is the first time that AU IBA has partaken of this show and supported local and smallholder farmers to showcase indigenous breeds, the Red Maasai, the Gala, and the Dopa. The genetics project supported these initiatives and we've had very good outputs. One of the main things that we want to recognize is the registration of the Red Maasai Breeders Association, the Dopa Breeders Association, this is the first time that this has been done. We've also been able to register very good animals in different farms across Kenya for the Red Maasai. 
This has now been documented in the Kenya Start Book and this is something that we recognize and we appreciate. We know that this is the beginning of greater things to come because we know that we shall be able to push the agenda for the recognition of indigenous animal breeds, especially in the African continent. It is our need that we make a call to all African farmers, governments, ministries to continue advocating for the rearing and the management of indigenous animal breeds. These are the breeds that are going to help us in the future, especially in relation to climate change. And I would like to add that uh, this Animal Genetic Resources uh, Project has been gratefully funded by the European Union and the African Union Commission. And we are really grateful that the European Union and the African Union Commission have supported many of our projects and we are very partic in particular we are very grateful for the support which they are giving to the genetics project which has been running for five years now and it's uh, coming to an end but should be running until 2019. We are very very grateful. Thank you. How does farmers who won feel? Niko nafuwa kubwa sana kwa sababu leo ndiyo mara yangu ya kwanza kuhudhuri hapa kama mkulima na nimefuraia kabisa. Yumifugo yangu nimepata namba moja mbaka namba tatu. Hata nimeambia wakulima wenzangu mwaka kesho mjiandae kwa competition kubwa sana. Kwa sababu nitaenda kuhifadhi saidi kuliko hapa. Kwa sababu hindi mara yangu ya kwanza na pia na, ni, na, ni, ni kufra sana kupata, nimepata elimu kubwa sana kwa hii show ya leo. So naishukuru Brookside kwa kuanda hii international show kuja kutufunza. Kwa sababu nimepata mamfunzo kubwa sana. Nikirudi kule kwetu mashambani, nitaenda kuhifadhi wanyama saidi kuliko hapa. So hiyo ndio furaha yangu. Ni Michael Yaratudo kutoka West Pokot Gala God Breed Association na nimefurahia kabisa mkutano ambao tumekuwa naye e, katika uwanja huu ambaye tumeweza kuonyesha mifugo zetu. Gama Gala God sisi tumefurahi kabisa. Aswa mimi mwenyekiti ambaye nimekuwa nikisimamia. Ah wajua ya kuwa uh, West Pokot uh, ilianza juzi na this is our first time kuwa mali hapa. Lakini wakika ni kwamba sisi ya tukuenda hivyo tu, tuliesa kupata na barla pili. Pada ya kushinda na wenzetu kutoka meru ambaye wa, ni wakitambo sana. Sisi tukependa kusema ya kwamba baada ya miaga miwili, tutakuja mali hapa na tutachukua hiyo nambari la kwanza. Kwa kuwa, tumeiona ya kwamba kuna mali ambaye kulikuwa na changa moto kwetu. Na vile ni mara ya kwanza, basi tukawa na hiyo namba, hiyo ingine tutakikisha ya kwamba tutapata nambari la kwanza. Having attended the show, the farmers now believe to improve on breeding practices both locally and internationally for the best results. Success of Kenya Livestock Breeders Association and other breeders societies in the participation of Nairobi Jamhuri Livestock Breeders Show is as a result of support from African Union IBA.